Hey Maker, Mel here. Grab your headphones and crank the song Lip Gloss by Little Mama because this recipe is poppin'. Whether you're looking to make and sell your own lip line, want to have more control over the ingredients in your cosmetics, or just want a fun new project to do on a rainy day, this DIY lip gloss recipe is super easy and super customizable. Today, I'll be using Mixie's High Shine Non-Sticky Lip Gloss Base, which is paraben-free, cruelty-free, gluten-free, and vegan, as well as our lip pigment in Racy Ruby and some ethically sourced mica to add a little bit of shimmer. Today, I'm going for a light dusty rose, so I'm using a medium shade of Racy Ruby pigment and some Flamingo Mica. Mixie has a variety of different pigments and shimmer colors to choose from, so you can always sub your favorite colors with this base recipe. I'll be making two 8 milliliter lip glosses using one ounce of base. To get started, you'll need a glass beaker, a digital scale, a spatula, a pipette, a filling syringe, gloves, and some 8 milliliter lip gloss tubes. You can find these all linked below from Mixie.com. I'll be adding in a little bit of flavor because I really like my lip gloss to taste good. You can omit this if you like, but I highly recommend it for those minty fresh, luscious, kissable lips. Once I have my shade identified, I'm going to go ahead and pour one ounce of base into my glass beaker. This base makes it super easy. There's no fancy immersion blending or heating required. Next, I'm going to measure out 0.03 ounces of my Racy Ruby pigment using my pipette. and then add 0.02 ounces of my Flamingo Mica as well as 0.03 ounces of my natural candy mint flavor and stir until fully combined. Once all of my ingredients have been fully combined, I'm going to use my filling syringe to fill each bottle, stopping just before the bottle screw lines to leave room for the applicator. After filling my bottles, it's time to add the plug and applicators. Today, I'm using our black lip gloss bottles for a classic look. Insert the plug and gently screw the tops on and you're ready to shine. I absolutely love how smoothly this goes on. It's definitely not sticky. And I love this color with my complexion. Not to mention, it tastes great. The colors of the season may change, but one thing's for sure. Having the ability to make your own custom lip gloss colors, that's never going out of style. If you like this video, be sure to drop a heart in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know on all the latest makers tips and tricks. Now, go make it happen.